We'll guide you through how to add mods to a Minecraft server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Mods can go and be different items, mobs, and loads of different things. So they can really go and make the server much more fun. To get started, what we need to do is come out of Minecraft. We need to go and get a specific type of server. So go and open up a web browser. And what we're gonna do is go and search for something called Minecraft Forge, like so. Then we need to come to files.minecraftforge.net. You want to come over to the left and we'll go and select the most recent version, which is 1.21.8. You can go and get a specific version if there's certain mods you want and they're only available in a certain version, but I'll just get it for the latest in my case. We can go and press installer like so. You're going to see an offer or add rule here. If you see a download button, it's for the add. We need to go and click on the skip button in the top right, just here. Then it will go and download. Next, you need to come back to a search engine and we need to go and search for Java like so. Go to java.com, press download Java for desktops and download again. Press back and you need to find developer downloads. Here you can then go and scroll down, find JDK 21 and select Windows and find the installer and click it to the right. You can go and get some mods as well. So a great set I like to use is called CurseForge. Come to curseforge.com, select Minecraft and press browse all at the top. You can then go and scroll down and we'll set the game version to 1.21.8 and filter for Forge. And then we can go and find some mods. For example, I'll go and get Waystones here. We'll press Files. Make sure we go and get it for Forge on 1.21.8. I'll press the download button to the right. It's been blocked, but I've had this before and it's safe. So I'll click on it and press download and you can get more as well. Before we start the install process, just to be clear, this server is to be running on your computer, meaning it's using your computer's resources. It also means your computer will need to be on running the server for others to go and join and for the server to be online. And it also means people are going to be joining your network because that's where your service host is, which isn't ideal security wise. So great alternative is to sponsor today's video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, then check out the link down below in the pinned comment and the description. Right now, you can get yourself a discount as well. We can scroll down and check out some of their great features. The best ones being for me, is them being 24-7 and also there being 24-7 live chats. So you can get help anytime you need it. Instant setup upon purchase, one click install mod packs, leaders protection, and you can add mods to these servers as well. So check them out if you're interested. But now back to the guide. What we need to do is come to our downloads. To get started, we're gonna install Java. So you can go and double click on this first one here. You get a security pop-up, and then what you can do is go and run through the installer. After you've gone and installed this first one, you then can do JDK as well. I've already got them installed, which is why I'm just not gonna go fully through them. Go through it and make sure you've got them fully installed. Then what you need to do is you need to come onto your desktop in some blank space, right click, hover over new and select folder. Go and name this mod server or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Then what you want to do is go and run forge like so. If you find forge doesn't run, right click on it, hover over open with, press choose another app, select Java in the list and press always and it should then go and run. If it still doesn't, you may need to do something called a jar fix which relinks jar and jar files together again. First of all, we're going to install the client as we need to have it installed on the client side, which is on our computer and then the server, which we'll do in a moment. That's now ran through and we need to go and run it again, but this time for install server. So select that and press the three dots to the right. Now we need to go and find that folder we just made. Go and find mod server, select it and press open. Then you can go and press OK. It's now finished and we can press OK. Now what you want to do is go and open up the mod server folder we created or whatever you called it. In here, you need to go and find run.bat. And what you want to do is go and double click on that like so. Go and wait, and it's gonna go and run through. Now it says you need to agree to the EULA in order to go and run the server. The EULA is essentially the terms and conditions. So what we need to do is go and open this up. What you need to do is copy and paste this link into a web browser. Then you can go and see the agreement. I've already read it. If you agree to it, you can come back, find the EULA and remove false and change it to true. Then make sure you press file and press save. Then you can go and run, run.bat again to go and double click it and it's gonna run through again. Be patient. You're going to go and find this Minecraft server application goes and starts running as well here. Once it's gone and finished, we can then go and close them like so. Now, what we need to do is go and find the mod folder. So we need to go and install the mods, so come in here. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna go and right click on them like so and go and copy them as we need them on our client side as well. So I'll paste them in. With Waystones, you also need something called Balm. So I've now downloaded that and added it to the mods and now we can run run.bat. The server is now running. For you to go and join it, press search at the bottom and type in Minecraft Launcher. Go to the top and press installations. Scroll down and go and find Forge. We just installed it. Hover over it and press open installations folder to the right. This will open up. Scroll down and you need to go and find the mods folder. Here it is, come into it. 
I've got some mods in here, but I don't want these. So I'm going to go and delete them. Come into the mods folder. And then what we need to do is go and add in the mods. It's important to know anyone joining the server will need these as well. So you should go and send your friends the links to the mods or whoever's going to be joining them the links to the mods so they can go and get the same mods required for the server. We've now added them. Hover over Forge and press play to the right. It's multiplayer and press add server. For the address, you can go and type in local host as it's on your computer and press done. Select it and you can then go and press join like so. Now it's important to know if you want people to go and start joining it, we've got some different ways to go and do this. The first way is by using something called port forwarding. Then you can go and um, go into your router essentially and go and set that up. And then you'll be able to go and give your IP to other people and they can go and connect to it. A general rule of sharing your IP is you shouldn't give it to people you wouldn't invite around your house. Alternatively, we have got another application you can use to go and make your server public for others to go and join as well. We've got a full guide on that. You can go and check out. But that is why I do really like using Apex as then you don't have to go and host it on your computer 